V32 of Brody Christie and the V56 of Graham West will go from row four. And the W74 for Blackman Fabrications. Alan Mortimer will start from the fifth and final row on his lonesome. The final heat race of round number two. And this opening night of the SSA National Modified Sedan title is underway. And the little Merc from Meldura. The South Australian champion, Jared Waters, will lead him down the back straight for the first of ten occasions. Made a great start from P3. Shane McDonald hasn't uh, been in the best of forms this weekend since he's arrived in Albany. And he's out uh, very wide in turn number four. Falls back to fourth place as Jamie Goodwin spits to the uh, the infield further back. But we'll continue on in kind of a 6-1-6 from Astrant. And Matt Noakes going to work on the inside of Kai Walters. The number 21 Commodore for Crane Corp Australia digging on the bottom as they exit turn number four for the second of ten occasions. But uh, Jared Waters, he was the quick man in official practice yesterday afternoon. And he's doing the business at the moment. And the NZ Mercedes-Benz from Mildura. Kai Walters has got Matt Noakes, a former national production sedan champion for company, as they battle for second and third place. A long way back to Shane McDonald, who's got uh, the Victorian Brody Christie trying to find a way past. And also the little LJ Tarana from Bendigo of Graham West. He's in sixth. Richard Cook from Queensland is seventh. From Alan Mortimer and Jamie Goodwin rounding them out. As uh, Alan Mortimer and Richard Cook race side by side for 7th and 8th place further back in the field on the exit of turn number 2 and ever so slightly it's just starting to bunch up behind our race leader Jared Waters, Kai Walters and Matt Noakes are closing the gap ever so slightly as they head into turn number 1 and out of turn number 2 Kai Walters persisting with the uh, 3 quarter track high run in uh, the Australian Racing Products Ford Falcon his 3 quarter track guys a big lunge in the pits corner he's trying to run down Jared Waters as they exit turn number 4 we're halfway home and Heat 10 of this weekend's SSA National Modified Sedan title presented by the City of Albany. And Kai Walters is big time reeling in the South Australian champion. It's a pair of state champions going at it. Here in Heat number 10, the South Australian champion Jared Waters and the Victorian champion Kai Walters who won the national title at Kingaroy in Queensland back in 2019. He's going to work. He's got the Ford Falcon on rails, three-quarter track high, and he's trying to run down the Mercedes-Benz of Jared Waters, older brother of Cam, the supercar star from Mildura. They make their way out of turn number four. Matt Noakes is not out of this one either. Long way back to the battling pack of Shane McDonald, Graham West. Look at the little Tirana go to work. Westy momentarily had the nose in front of Shane McDonald. Brody Christie is in the battle for uh, fourth place as well. Alan Mortimer is seventh from Richard Cook, and Jamie Goodwin rounds him out. But it's going to be a two-lap run to the line between the Paris state champions, the South Australian champion Jared Waters, and the Victorian champion Kai Walters had the left front wheel off the ground that time around. Can he find a way past Jared Waters? They enter turn number three for the second last occasion. Look at Kai Walters go to work. The Ford Falcon is going after the race leaders. They exit turn number four. They greet the white flag. Look at Walters. He'll have a big lunge into turn number one. He's three-quarter track high. Look at the Falcon go to work. He bounces off the cushion and goes around the outside of Jared Waters. Side by side in the pitch corner for the final time. Bring him home, Albany. The Victorian champion is going to steal it on the final lap. He gets it done. What a manoeuvre. Around the outside of Jared Waters to steal the 36 points. Matt Noakes, Gallon for third. Race to the line for fourth. It'll be Shane McDonald narrowly from Graham West. Brody Christie. Alan Mortimer will be seventh from Richard Cook and Jamie Goodwin rounding them out. But uh, not quite as good as heat number six, but it was still a humdinger. And the Victorian champion, put your hands together for him, Albany. Third in the WA title last Saturday night in Esperance. And uh, was struggling with a little bit of car speed in practice last night. He even probably said the same about his opening heat race in this national title. But uh, he sails around the outside of Jared Waters. Really got the Falcon going to work. Three-quarter track guy bouncing off the cushion. And the driver of the Ford Falcon, who is a, also a two-time Tasmanian champion. He's won the King's Royal. He's been the national champion. And he's the current Victorian champion. One of the best in the business in modified sedans in the country. A big Albany round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Kai Walters. Uh, we get a thumbs up from the Australian Racing Products. Victoria won the former national champion. Living the life of the AU, Kai Walters. And talk about another one on the top side. You just stalked there for those last five laps and just was able to reel him in. Take a win, man. That looks awesome. Yeah, no, it's uh, credit to Albany. It's uh, sort of my style. We can just ride it wide open on the fence. And um, no, I love when we can do that. And yeah, we needed the points there. A bit of a disappointing first tape with the gearbox issue and a bit of other stuff going on. But 
big thanks to all the guys in the pits and uh, all the family for coming out and everyone staying up late down home watching and uh, yeah, how yeah, good. I think that's a cool thing as well about the Speedway Sedans Australia's uh, way that they do stuff. Yes, you you did have a bad opening heat race, but you've still got another three more to capitalise on. And just see, you just grabbed yourself 36 points by literally just going wide open. Yeah, that was it. The last few laps, so I thought I was gaining on him one and two, and I was like, oh, I just can't lift. Just got to ride the cushion, and that was it. Obviously, you've got a long three weeks here already with the uh, the state title for modifiers this weekend, and then next weekend you're hopping into production sedan. So three big weekends coming up for you and your team. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we come across early to run Esperance, which was really good, and then obviously this is the big weekend, and then um, yeah, massive shout out to Josh and Rob Fraser for offering me a car for the Prodi title next week at Allenbrook. I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully we can help them with their program a little bit and um, have some fun while we're at it. I think they just wasted enough time. Kyle Walters takes you lucky last heat race of round number two. He'll get his thumbs up and the photo for being our 10th Heath race winner tonight.